everybody. Today I'm going to be making albondigas for dinner and I'm going to start with the ingredients. Uh, so far I have one pound of ground beef right here. I got two eggs, one cup of rice, one fourth of uh, cilantro or it's a little less, just a little bunch of cilantro, and one fourth of uh, a white onion, one teaspoon of oregano, one garlic, one teaspoon of salt, and I have one third uh, of mint over here. And uh, I just cut the leaves in little pieces like this. And over here I toasted a bread and I put it in the blender. So uh, it become like this. So over here for my um, sofrito, I have two tomatoes and they're small like this. I cut them in small pieces. And I have a half an onion over here, a medium size, and one garlic. And over here I have the cabbage. It's probably like a half a cabbage that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be using two corns. And I cut them like this. I have uh, three pieces of yucca. And I'm going to cut them probably like this. And I have two pieces of mint that I'm going to be using over here with the leaves. Just like this. And I have a little bunch of cilantro this small and I have three potatoes one carrot and one zucchini and I got two lemons and I have the chipotle sauce and it comes in a can like this and uh, and I put it in the blender that way it can be like a sauce like this and I have the uh, consomme de res that I'm going to be using today and I'm going to use one tea I mean one tablespoon of this okay so I'm going to start by mixing all the meat first okay I also going to use a chayote and I'm going to use only half and I don't know how did they call it I think they call it vegetable pear so really I don't know the name of it so I'm going to start over here I have already my meat and I'm going to put all the ingredients here that way we can mix them so I'm going to put the cilantro here the onion and the mint and mix all this together so I'm going to put the egg over here and then we'll get oregano the salt and the garlic right here and this is the reason why I tell you to cut them in real small pieces because we're mixing everything together with the meat over here. So let me keep on mixing all this. Okay, now we're going to put the, the bread. And this is the one that I toasted in the toaster. And the rice and the rice I rinse it in cold water keep on mixing this okay now I'm gonna start with my hand mixing And you can you can also make uh, two pounds of meat with the same ingredients. I'm only gonna do one today. So I already mix it. So we're gonna try to make all the little balls the same. So we're just gonna make little balls like this. And put them to the side 
you can see making them this size if you want them bigger you can make them bigger and I keep on making little balls like this this is the size that I'm making okay here are all the albondigas I make from uh, one pound and uh, I always put a lot of vegetables on my but vegetables is on your choice how many you you want to put so I'm going to start by cooking the albondigas okay so I got my water over here and it's already hot I'll put all the albondigas in here one by one and make sure they're covered with the water that way they can cook very well okay okay so now that our, our albondigas are cooking i'm gonna start cutting all the vegetables that i'm gonna need for this and like i say vegetables to your taste if you want more vegetables you can put more maybe this side to the side and i already washed them so right now i'm just gonna cut them potato and these potatoes are small so i you that's why i'm putting three take off the parts that i don't like from here and I'm trying to use the potato with all the skin because this is a real good potato, the white one. And the mint, I'm just going to put it like this because then I'm going to be taking it off. And the cilantro, let me just cut it a little bit, maybe like this. Right there. And the yuca, just do this. Put the big pieces like this. and the zucchini this one i just cut it like this just like making a soup this one I'm gonna use a potato peeler for the carrot. I just take the middle part of the cabbage. And this cabbage. I love cabbage cooked in a soup. So that's why I always like putting a lot. So I'm just gonna put it like this. This to the side. I'm just gonna do this. Oops, do this to my carrot. Okay, I already peeled my carrot, so I'm gonna cut it too in small pieces. Make it four, I mean, make it two. So we we'll put the carrots in here. Okay. So now I'm gonna put the half of the chayote that I tell you. So I'm just gonna cut it like this. Pieces like this. And we finish cutting all the vegetables that we're gonna be using. So I put them right there. 
and you can see our meat is cooking in here and this meat uh, cooks real fast so I'm going to start doing the sofrito that way we can put all the vegetables in here now too okay so I, I already put one pan over here so I'm going to put uh, probably like one tablespoon of uh, olive oil and I'm going to cook my onion and my tomato and garlic in here okay so we're gonna fry all this right here okay as you can see the meat how it is you see the rice coming out in there so now we're gonna put the vegetables and our sofrito is cooking right now but you can always do the sofrito first and have it ready so I'm going to put the yuca. I start with the vegetables that um, take the longer time, you know, to cook. Right there. Show you that it takes forever. And the carrots. And the corn. So we let her cook in there. And this is our sofrito. And it's a little more time. And now I'm going to put the consomme in here. right here and the chipotle sauce and over here we're gonna see if it needs more if it needs more we can always put more that's why I have it over there on the side because we might need more So we let it to cook and then we taste it for salt and and for the chipotle sauce, okay? To see if it needs more. The sofrito is ready. So I'm going to put it over here together with the meat. Turn it up. And I'm going to put it together with the meat over here. Right there look how it looks can you see how it looks so I'm gonna taste it for salt right now because I think it's gonna need more salt because I only put salt to, uh, to the meat and the consomme but the consomme doesn't have a lot of salt in that yeah I'm gonna put a uh, probably one tablespoon or less let me try it like that and I have some left in there in case I need more and now I'm gonna try it yeah the whole thing in there so one tablespoon and one tablespoon more of salt in there but like i always say salt is on your taste so i'm gonna let it cook okay so now i'm gonna put the zucchini the cabbage in here you can see it has a lot of vegetables right there 
and the cilantro and the mint so i'm gonna put them there and just let it cook just for flavor okay i'm gonna put another piece of mint because this is what it gives flavor to the soup so i'm gonna put another one right here by the side and i'm gonna be putting more chipotle sauce because i think it needs a little more so i'm gonna put a little more and this is one fourth more sauce that i'm gonna put just right there okay so we're gonna wait until the vegetables are soft and then the soup is done now it's time to cut the lemon um our soup is almost done and we use the lemon like uh, to put it on the soup when we're eating our soup so i'm gonna cut all the lemon over here and put it right here and have it ready okay so right here and we're done right there okay the albondigas are done this is how it looks when it's done and i already checked the vegetables and the vegetables are soft as you can see it looks real good so I'm going to turn off the, the fire now and I'm going to be serving a plate so you can see how it looks, okay? Okay, so I already served a plate and it looks like this, as you can see. And uh, I'm going to eat it with a tortilla that I, I make in the morning. So I'm just going to put some tortilla there and another piece over here while wow, it's hot right there and my lemon on the side and um and this is how we eat it you can also eat it with uh tostadas or you can just eat it by itself okay i hope you enjoy the recipe like and subscribe